Everybody, it's Tyler here at the Northeast Wisconsin Signature Event, checking in with your champions, 8110W and 8110C, Whisper and Llamas, who had a phenomenal performance. Number seven seed coming all the way through, by the way. Congratulations on that. This was a crazy playoff event that we had on here. Let's jump. I got to ask you, you know, coming through, uh, we did a mic'd up match with you earlier today, and you had a little bit of struggles for that, but your team really came through clutch all the way. Take me through, like, from there into the playoffs, how did your team just continue to improve the entire time? So on the practice field, we tried to make sure our autons were as good as possible, and we were practicing as much as we were as we could to kind of just get ready for elims. And um, I don't know. I guess we just performed uh, as we normally did, and the match, when the mic up match, we just were kind of off, I guess. And yeah. And you guys uh, already competed and went to the finals uh, recently, but lost in the finals with 80, 8110C. What made you want to pick them again and continue to work with them? Um, yeah, so we wanted to pick them because they had a goal rush auto. On our robot, we only have a ring rush auto. So it's like we need to have that because the control of the third goal is the most important thing. And if we could get that, then um, then you're basically, you have a lot of uh, more opportunities in the match. And plus, we practice with them a lot, so we know their strengths and their weaknesses. And yeah, and then we can do it really uh, be impactful on that. Let's talk playoffs a little bit here. I mean, there's a crazy set of playoffs. Just upsets galore, including your own team upsetting all the way through. What were some of the keys to victory for your team as you worked your way up to finals? Yeah, I would say, like Logan mentioned, is just consistency as well as that fifth goal. So in autonomous, we were able to gain an advantage of that fifth goal in almost every every time. Um, so that allowed us to play in control of the match and force our opponents what to do what we want them to do. So that gave us that leg up, winning that autonomous as well as that fifth goal. And then it's just scoring on wall six, playing how we natural playing, and it all worked out in the end. What was it like to work uh, with uh, 8110W again? And obviously taking a big win with this too, it's gotta feel so great for that. Yeah, it's great. We're all friends, we all talk constantly. We see each other twice a week, so it's good to win with someone you know and win with someone you like. It's always awesome. Let's talk finals a little bit on here. So crazy finals one, right? Has a DQ. You guys win the goal rush, uh, really in both of them, but then they take auto, right? So walk me through kind of how the rest of that match went. Yeah, so the first match, we actually lost both positives, which is a pretty big deficit. But what we did to counter that was to push all of their red rings to the other side so that they couldn't score any uh, rings on them and they couldn't get their fulls that were in the positive full. And uh, yeah, and then they didn't have any rings to score on the wall stake as well. And, but we had all the rings to fill up the our wall stakes. And in finals two here, it really kind of came down to that auto bonus, right? You end up winning by one point. You get the auto bonus, win the uh, goal rush, win auto that time, and uh, you didn't let them get both positive corners, right? What other aspects really contributed for you? Yeah, and that second one we knew coming into it, we had that third goal as well as that autonomous bonus, so we wanted to play conservative. We had the lead, we wanted to hold it. Um, so we worked on just controlling uh, our positive corner, and then at the end you can see we played really passive. We just sit on those wall stakes. We knew we had the advantage, so we didn't overplay. And that, uh, even though it was a tight win, it allowed us to squeak at that win. Instead of risking a DQ with elevation at the end or risking something going wrong, we played conservative and we held on to that lead and it really helped us get through. Whisper and Lavas, congratulations going to the Worlds. We can't wait to see you there. Good luck the rest of your competition this season, but we can't wait to see you in Dallas in just a few short weeks. Congratulations. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected.